Hey guys, this is Jamal with GospelMusicians.com and we're coming at you with our very first own plugin. It is actually our own first VST instrument. The reason why we went into doing our own VST instrument is because we were dissatisfied with what we uh, were hearing. There's a certain thing when you get a chance to do your own stuff, you can do it your way how you want to. And we are, our first love is electric pianos, our second close a close second love is synth bass, and the synth bass has to be right. It has to be right, guys. So we went back, and so you're probably asking why another synth bass. There's already tons of synth bass stuff out there. There's a ton of synth bass stuff out there, and it's all focused on dubstep. I'm trying to focus on you. I'm your producer. I'm trying to make something for the gospel, the urban, the R&B, the funk guy that just wants to hear that old school funk that they remember. My number one goal with Bass Alicious, make it sound like hardware. Make it sound exactly like hardware or darn near close. And in order for us to do that, we had to do our own version of wavetable technology. Most wavetable technology, when they use wavetable technology, guys, is that they use band limited. That means band limited means you limit something. And usually when you limit something, it's the warmth. We figure out a way and jacked into it and did our own little way. We figured out a way where we can make our wavetable sound almost maybe 90% like the hardware. So what that gives you is a nice, rich, classic tone. Remember, when, I, when we came out with Neo So Keys, everybody said, why are you coming out with Neo So Keys? There's already electric piano libraries, but nothing like this. So we put our own spin on it. We had to use our own plugins to get into it. We use what we call our own wavetable technology, uh, true to source, meaning that we ran it through a whole bunch of goodness that we can't tell you because it's secret but it's going to be good. So without further ado, I know you hate talking. I just want to stress that this bass delicious, the reason why we came up with it is because we were dissatisfied with everything being dubstep focused and we wanted something for the old school funk, the 90s funk guy, the 80s funk guy, the contemporary R&B classic just... <laughs> So without further, further ado, I present to you Basilicious with a new wavetable technology to where we make our wavetable sound rich and warm. So I hope the talking wasn't a lot. All right, here we go. Basilicious. Uh, let's load right here. Um, I know the preset system is a little archaic now. We got updates coming. So let's just get started. Classic AOA sub. classic sine waves. Uh, you can see the setup is reminiscent of what you've been seeing. Uh, uh, we kind of took a little bit of, a, of a, a nice setup from other uh, hardware synths and we set our own thing up so everything is on one interface. No going through different tabs. One interface right here. Everything's here. This uh, filter is a a modeled filter. Let's get into this is a basically You got the glide here, you got the rate. Everything is very simple. We realize that sometimes we as gospel musicians, we're nerds, we make stuff too hard. We, we know that you wanted something very simple, very easy to use. Everything is set up and it sounds great. Let's keep loading. Ah, uh, big drone, you know what drones sound like. That's what you want to hear. All right, let's keep. 
keep loading. Ah, uh, let's see, Biggie, Big, Big, all right, Big Bad Mini, you can. This thing sounds real. It sounds like hardware. We have so many plugins. Now this one has the velocity, so we turn the velocity up. So as I change the velocity, you see it opens up. As you can see, it sounds very warm, very fat. Boogie on classic memory. You know what that is. Just slide it. You just slide it. It sounds real, y'all. Listen to the organic sound. What is what when we when we use the term organic sound, what do we mean when we use the term organic sound? What we mean when we say organic sound, we basically mean it sounds like the real hardware. It sounds like the real hardware, it, it, it feels like the real hardware, and it doesn't sound digital. It sounds very warm as if it's going through VCOs and VCFs. You know how many plugins we have sitting here that we won't release because it don't sound right? We won't release it if it's not legit. Our rep is on the line, all right? So you have other ones that, that actually, uh, you have other, um, let me see, deep drone, deep end. Yeah. So it's that deep. It's even, man, watch your speakers on this one, guys. Watch your speakers. Okay. That's what I'm talking about, organic. There's no hint of digitalness anywhere in here. That's crazy right there. Now that's crazy right there. All right, so, so, boom, 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 nasty metal, nasty metal.
that's crazy right there. All right, let's see what else. Let's see what else. I'm going to some of the ones I highlighted. Yeah. That's what we want, that old school Roger classic funk, funk, funk sausage. <laughs> Remember, our number one goal here was sound like hardware. Sound like hardware. Super funky. I wonder what this going to be about. some craziness there that's some craziness there uh let's see what else we got a warning okay watch your speakers on this one guys just watch your speakers watch your speakers on that one Oh man, what else? Uh, oh, uh, I did some one called Pedro. So for those of you who are Latino, you know what this word means. So you can imagine what this is gonna sound like. <laughs> Let's do number one. Imagine what that sounds like. Let's do number two. Better, better do. Wow. Just nasty. Nice, man. That's our main thing, man. Hardware. And the thing is, you don't need a whole bunch of synth based sounds, guy. You just go to your classic. Just go to the one. You got like maybe two or three of them that you know I got to go to this. And that's what I wanted to do with the synth based stuff. What I started to say about samples, the problem with samples is that. Samples don't give you the true slide that you need. Let me let me show you. I'm gonna turn this up to over exaggerated. This is what I'm talking about. You ready? <laughs> Try to do that with samples. Try and do this <laughs> without getting pitch shifting and all kinds of crazy stuff. You can only do this with synthesis. Take that finger. <laughs> Now this is uh, mimicking a little TB3 up in there. Now 
Now this one has got the after touch, so I can put my finger in there a little bit. Let me show you one that has an after touch here. Uh, is there a one with the AT on it? After touch. There's a couple of them that have after touch uh, oomph bass. So. The problem with samples also is that you're limited to the sample that you sampled it from. But with this, this is an actual synthesizer, so you can make your own, whatever your personality is, you can make your synth sound like that. And we reduced a lot of the features so that, wait for it, so we reduced a lot of features so that you can easily program it. Guys, this is it. In your face, in your throat. Ooh, that's sick. So if you want dubstep type of stuff, you can get it. So if you want that dubstep type of stuff, you can get it, but this is not for the dubstep guys. It's, it's, uh, it, it's in my throat and your throat. A lot of stuff is in the throat here. Oh, forgot about this one. Oh my gosh. Come on now. Come on. Come on, guys. Are you serious? Man. Mm. That's why it says in your throat. It's like somebody just poked you in your throat. Watch this. Let's take this up. You want the depth up? Now watch this. I'm going to attach this to the aftertouch. Now, as I push down on the key, you know, this is simple, but it's powerful. Ooh. Come on, guys. Come on. That's what I'm talking about. I know I put a lot of time into this, and my main thing this is my thing. When you load this plugin up, I want people to say, dang, what is that? Yeah, that's that gospel musicians joint. That's what I want people to say. When you load this up, and you're like, nah, man, I brought my own plugins. What you mean you bought your own plugins? Just load this up. And the dude loaded up. And you're like, what is that? You'd be like, yo, that's that gospel musicians. I'm telling you, that's what I want. Overtone heaven. So it's probably going to be some. That's it, guys. That's it. Oh, man. Uh, how many presets we got over? Uh, we got, what, 80 or something presets, man? So this is some good stuff here. Uh, what else? What else? West Coast. You know that West Coast. That They like that funk. Let's do that funk on that West Coast. Uh, let <laughs> So 
it's got everything you need. You got four oscillators sitting right here. You got your global octave. You got four oscillators here. Here's the submenus, saws, signs, pulses, triangles, rectangles, mix, overtones. You got your, uh, and then underneath here. So you got a category and subcategory. This overtones is pretty cool. Um, the metal stuff that uh, we tried to mimic from the, uh, the Micro Brute. And then we have a lot of waveforms from the AN1X. So we combined the, the waveforms from the AN1X and the Micro Brute. Imagine that, a Micro Brute and an AN1X with, the, with, with some of the, um, the waveforms that we have, okay? And we emulated it because some of the stuff that we do in our synthesis that we can't say, but this is not a sample library at all. This is pure, emulated virtual analog synth synthesis technology using wavetables, using synthesis, using interpolation, using sync stuff, using FFT, a whole bunch of stuff went into this. You know, it was almost like I went to, I went my engineering mode because I have a background in engineering and I started from scratch. I said, we're gonna make this from scratch. Let's start it from scratch and see if we can do something different because what happens is in industry, everybody does the same doggone thing over and over if this is how you make a wave table you do it like this i broke all of the rules and i said you know what let's just start from scratch it took us a long time to get it we got pulse with modulation here detuning um here we go gospel musicians let's play a couple more but this pretty much gives you an idea of what this thing is um octo man <laughs> So yeah, uh, this is the first beginning. We have an iOS version coming out. So yeah, 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 this is it. This, yeah, yeah, this is it. Weird science. What is this? Whistle bus blower, uh, whistle blower, after touch. Here's the after touch here. See my finger? As I push it down, you can't tell, but push hard, 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 hard. Like that. stuff throw in television this is pretty cool i don't know if you remember a video game back in the day i'm dating myself it was called in television it didn't quite catch up but it was pretty cool so uh rezzed out <laughs> Metal, metallic. Has all the metal stuff going on right here. Matter of fact, let me just turn this off. Okay. So a cool thing about this too, single serial number. You boot it up, put a serial, you're done. No download manager. No uh, manager or anything like that. You're done. So here we go coming at you. Gospel musicians, bassalicious coming at you. All right. 